If anyone says Black Panther 2 is absolutely trash, they are lying. And if anyone is saying it's absolutely amazing, they are also lying. Black Panther 2 Wakanda forever. Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever has to be the most average MCU movie I have seen in a while. Now in this video, I'm going to talk spoilers, so if you don't wanna get spoilers, watch the other video I made where it was completely spoiler free. Anyway, the movie starts off with the death of T'Challa which makes Shuri and Ramonda sad and then we get to see a situation where some other country tries to invade Wakanda and steal a vibranium and they fail. Ramonda that complains that to UN and then we are introduced to the blue people the people of Neymar Namor well Namor not Neymar it's Namor and this was the only one time I feel like the blue people of Namor are really show very competent and it starts off with their mind controlling song and damn that scene was pretty good and we finally get to see a Namor in the darkness so it was a pretty good and then comes the scene where Ramonda and Shuri having some lone time and talking about or mourning about T'Challa and out of the ocean comes a good old Neymar and warns them about someone who made a device which can track vibranium and he wants that scientist delivered to him by the Wakandans and the scientist yes the scientist is Riri Williams who made that vibranium finding stuff as a science project then we cut to a scene where Shui and Okoye tracks Bilbo Baggins and finds information about the scientists and they eventually find the scientist and tries to save her and gets kidnapped by people of Namor and then is saved by Nakia and that leads to a fight between the Wakandans and the people of Taloka. I don't know how to say that. And in the battle, Wind Ramonda dies and it gives Shuri another reason to mourn and finally take the mantle of Black Panther and and go to fight them and guess where the Wakandans fight the water people they went to the water to fight the water people genius and their plan is to capture Neymar put him through a place where they would evaporate all the waters and that was never set up as a weakness for Neymar but we know modern filmmakers don't know how setup and payoff works so it's okay and then for the climactic battle Shuri fights it out with Neymar and holy fucking shit Neymar it just impels Shuri and she refuses to die. Yeah, she didn't die. A spear, a vibranium spear coming through, completely impaling Shuri and doesn't kill her. And then something happens and Shuri spares Neymar and Neymar decides to join Shuri's forces and yeah, there is peace. And literally that's how the movie kinda ends. And in the mid credit scene we see Nakia had a son with T'Challa named T'Challa. Before we move on, subscribe to my channel and like the video. Anyway, moving on. From the movie, one thing was pretty clear that Black Panther is not in this movie. At least for a long time. The movie runs for 2 hours 40 something minutes. And we hardly get 20 minutes of Shuri Black Panther and we don't even get some flashback with Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther. Like I don't realize why make the movie about Black Panther if you don't even have Black Panther. This makes no sense at all. But still, they made a movie, they will get money. I'm pretty sure it's a Marvel movie after all. And that's all I feel about the movie after watching it two times. The best part of the movie is definitely Angela Bassett as Queen Ramonda and Okoye does a good role. Nakia is one of the plot and Shuri yeah, is the new Black Panther and I have not mentioned M'Baku in the story because he is that much insignificant to the whole plot. And the worst part of the movie is Riri Williams who will get her own show on Disney Plus. Next in the line for MCU is Riri Williams Iron Heart Show which I don't have a doubt is going to be weird or awful and if it is I'll make a video and if it is good I also make a video. Either way I'll make a video I'll get views and all other YouTubers will be the one who was successful. Not sure about Disney though. The movie starts off pretty well and kinda meh but the worst part is the whole fucking movie where they stretched it a lot and made the movie movie 2 hours 40 something minutes and you feel every minute of the movie it felt very stretched so if you have watched the movie let me know whether you liked it or not 